All right, we're back. This is Arclinx B Sway. So the ISO that you can download and install. Just don't do it on virtual machine. Just don't install NVIDIA drivers on it. Okay, then you're golden. First things first, I have now an Azerti keyboard. I have key bindings that work for me. That's in the previous video. Now I have a dual screen. Uh huh. So Super D, Sublime Text, and in the folder config D, that's the only one that matters, right? The other guys are other are, are as, as backup. QWERTY is, is the same normally, right? Since I am a user of Azerti, I've copy pasted the stuff over to this one. And output is for me important. Why? Because dual screen. So example for dual monitor, and this is an example. You can get the names for the outputs. So we left some code in there. So for you to just copy paste. And then you know, oh look, my output is called this. And the other output is called that, which is exactly the same thing since they're the same monitors, which always is a good idea, guys. Buy the same, exactly the same monitors. You'll be golden. So basically, example dual monitor is perfect for me. On this setup. I say, let's get these hashtags out of the way. And I say, output is this one, output is that one. It's 1920 or 1080 here. I'm defining, and that's just a variable, interesting to use or reuse, right? Set this variable to that, so I can use it here on all these guys. So what I'm actually doing now is saying, I want one, two, three, four, five on my left. And I want six, seven, eight, nine, ten to my right. Left monitor, right monitor, safe. So this is a possibility. This is how you can do things. There are all the videos about a render. See that it's installed. And in a render, you can actually use these uh, things. You can uh, drag it from here to here, so that number one is going to be, if it's possible, I don't know. I think it's possible. I would think it's possible, but never tried it until this video here. So it keeps on doing this. But the, the fun thing is, if you save this, if you say, okay, everything is okay, and, and the resolution, everything is okay, and everything is set, orientation, everything is set, then you can save this. Save as test, right? In the dot screen layout, super F, make this big so you can actually see some more maybe right or just delete this one maybe because i need to save that's the button there screen layout this can go this can go let's have a look at what we've created screen layout test sh and i don't need to be so technical i mean this is it some of the things i even don't need like rotate normal obviously right don't want to have it uh, how do you say that in english upside down eh? i don't want that obviously so we have here the, the settings the mode and where the positions start and which one comes to the left and which comes to the right that's in here that's the code so copy paste can be maybe also placed in here somewhere in the auto start applications for example it's a good idea so but this is done now with a, the, the um, well the configuration of sway itself so this is a possibility for any of the other tiny window managers super f can go full screen so off we're gonna save this and of course i need to stop the video log out log in and i'll have my one two three four five here and the six seven eight nine on my second screen and that's how we will continue. Problems, I guess you'll have problems, right? You go to Sway. Where is Sway? GitHub. Sway. 
i3 compatible Wayland compositor. Okay, check. SwayWM.org, check. I'll make a separate video. Where are the resources? But this is it, right? Both of them, that one, that one, wiki, go and have a look. Well, we're back on the GitHub now, but those are the places to be. All right, cheers.